Good morning. I've noticed that I wear this in a lot of videos. This uh, little sweatshirt thing. And I'm not sure that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's just a thing. Um, so right now it is Monday morning. I have some beets that I'm steaming from my garden, from my lawn garden. And uh, they're starting to get some size to them. So finally, uh, it makes me wonder how, how long it's gonna take my other uh, root vegetables that I have my winter garden gonna produce. Uh, I wonder if I planted them too late. Um, are they gonna grow? They're gonna, it's gonna take forever. I'm gonna have to keep them alive for a long, long time. Uh, so who knows when I'm gonna be able to harvest them. Um, I should probably cover them up at night to keep them warmer, cause like, uh, it's 43 right now. Um, the weird thing is, so I've got, um, I bought a new electric heater with the thermostat, which I wanted, um, and it's keeping this place at 68 right now. And it, although it feels colder, so like, there's something just different, like the, uh, the, the, the propane heater kept it not this warm, let's say, it's, it was probably a 20 degree differential, so let's say it could be 63 in here, but just the kind of heat, the radiant heat, and um, you know, there's moisture coming off of that because of the propane, it kind of felt, it felt warmer. Uh, that's just a little interesting side note uh, that I'm making right now, this morning. Um, let's see. Oh, and just another side thing. The, my induction burner, uh, is pretty accurate in terms of the temperature it keeps it at. I'm quite, you know, I'm somewhat surprised. I mean, it's kind of like you can say, set it at 200 degrees, and is it really at 200 degrees, or is it 300 degrees, or whatever? But when I when I have it at 210 degrees, the water does not boil. At 220, it does boil. So water boils at about 212 degrees, uh, depending on the kind of water and what elevation you're at. So I'm going to call that pretty darn accurate. Uh, let's see here. Um, so, this week has been my first full week of non-farmers market hours. And it's kind of been, pardon me, <coughs> um, very interesting. Uh, the... I'm getting a lot of, so I'm at the bakery a lot less. In fact, my tracking, my time tracking app says I was at the bakery for 21 and a half hours. Um, now that doesn't count everything I did outside of the bakery, um, but I mean, so I had a lot of time. And so I went to the gym and I started working out with weights. So now I've got my warm up, I've got weights training, I've got stretching, and then I've got my steam room. Well, the one day I spent two and a half hours at the gym. So I've been spending anywhere from like an hour and a half all the way up to two and a half hours every day, every time I go to the gym, which has been uh, six, Maybe even, set, I, mean, I think I went every single day. So, but I go at least six times a, a week. Because I, I'm at the bakery five. Even though I don't need to be at the bakery right now, I'm only at three. But I, I did come in every day that I normally would have come in. Monday's my yoga day, so I go in early for that. And I stay late for a steam. So Tuesday is kind of my one day that I may not make it, but I typically do anyways. Um, 
just to kind of, you know, I don't like the idea of a cheat day so much. Or like a cheat day where it's just nothing. If it's going to be a cheat day, it's going to be like, oh, I'm just going to go in and do something real quick. Kind of like, I am now currently, um, I'm still maintaining a very low sugar intake. So like last night, I was at um, uh, my sister and brother-in-law's place and Lee and Anthony and uh, they had um, apple crisp and ice cream. So I had some. Actually, I probably had too much, but that was my sugar for the day. So I'm not going to completely take it out, but I will have a little bit. So that's kind of my, my cheat would be, you know, I'm not gonna go crazy. My cheat is just a little bit. And not every day, some days. Um, uh, and maybe that's bad, but it's, at least right now, for kind of sanity reasons, it's a good idea. Uh, but anyways, um, gym day is kind of like spa day to me. Um, so that's fabulous. I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, Um, I did not go to a float this week, so uh, I've gone a whole week without a float, which means that I have accrued my one float per week that I have on the books, uh, went unused, which is fine, because uh, I had offered Seth a float at some point, um, but I could work that in somehow, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, kind of like it's not in my routine yet so it's kind of like I don't have it scheduled uh, actually or mentally um, I gotta work that in because I think it's gonna be interesting uh, or at least good for me to get it started uh, let's see this is a this is the thought I focus okay so um, I tend to spend probably less than 50% of the time when I'm talking to someone, looking them in the eye, I would guess. Um, I'm going to try to really fix that and be, you know, 100% is my goal, 100%. Not like, oh, let me think. Um, I mean, that would probably be the one time I would cheat, but like, instead of... I, I, I go off to this place more than I should. Apartment number five is now officially for rent. And I got, <clears throat> went live last night um, or yesterday sometime afternoon. And I have somebody who wants to look at it now. So, hey, if I could get kind of locked down before I leave on a vacation, that'd be great because I really don't want to be answering emails while I'm on vacation for potential um, renters. Uh, yes, which does come down to like, it's uh, 10 days from now I think I leave on vacation. And so I really need to plan this out. Um, there are people who I would like to see that I should fit in. Um, kind of have a, you know, like during the week is gonna be, last time I was in Seattle was a real a lot of downtime that I didn't know how to fill. I read a lot, which was great, um, but I also kind of wasted some time that I could have been a little bit more, you know, see people I haven't seen in a long time, experience things that I um, could have experienced. So, um, like, go out to nature, go for a hike out, and well, I mean, I kind of, Actually, where Andrew lives, it's very wooded, so that, that's definitely, you get that feeling without really having to go anywhere. Let me check this. Okay, I ran out of water in my pot. I think I should, I don't know if I should have roasted them, but anyways. Uh, 
goals for this the rest of um, for now post farmers market is marketing I want to come up with a plan for marketing market the bakery and just kind of get gen in general marketing um, especially social media I want to you know if I wanted to use it on any of my other kind of personal projects that I have thinking about for the future um, thinking a lot about you know now that I have this free time it's like real um, and I should use it to the best of my ability so kind of this whole uh, oh you know financial independence and then not, not retirement early more like reallocation or uh, resource Hang it, I keep not it's not reallocation. Um re why can't I think of it? It's re something. Revaluation. Anyways. Resource reevaluation. I think that's what it is. That's the E evaluation. At least that's the best word I've come up with. Um and uh, this is great practice for me because this is this is real. I I see people uh, already kind of getting to that point of not knowing what to do when they're uh, when they're older, and it's like most of the time the default is volunteer work, which is great. Uh, I would um, I'm definitely down with that. I would also say that I. But I want, my guess, I want to have maybe be my own, like self-directed purpose. Unless I just haven't found, oh, I haven't really looked. Maybe I should look at things that I can just plug myself into and be like, oh, I don't need to reinvent the wheel. The wheel's already there and it's perfectly fine. Uh, I would like to um, get more involved with, kind of, I want to find a community um, now that I have got some time, um, and I've got better hours, that's the main thing. I've got time and I've got better hours. Something I've, I haven't had either of them. And the hours is the, was the biggest thing because even if I had time, but I'm, you know, no one wants to, no one's volunteering at two o'clock in the morning or even at, well, maybe they are. But most of the time, people are meeting and stuff like that at normal business hours, let's say. And if I was not able to do that, then, or not post at normal business hours, like everyone works and then they have time to like meet and stuff like that. Evenings and weekends, well, those, those were always out before. Um, so, that's my my plan and um, I would like to get more involved in yoga and there's a yoga center I mean literally a block away maybe not even a block away so and I've been told that uh, the people that work there are uh, run that are good people so I'm gonna go I'm gonna actually check that out I've thought about checking it out now I will check it out for real um, <clears throat> so that is that uh, yeah, it's Monday, and I'm going to wrap this up and then um, get on with my day. Do some more painting, maybe. Yep, that's what it is. I can paint when it's 44, right? Outside. That'll be good. Okay.